It is Frankie V1F and Frankie Tati. My dude, Kent Jones in the building. What up, player? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Back Sometimes you got to let it out. No, nah, no, nah, I like that. It's funny because before these mics cracked, you were just playing the air drums. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To Bruno nah. Mars. Yeah, Bruno Mars. I'm going to be your drummer at one of your shows. And, man, if you want me to come on and get off the drums during this, your show and perform a couple of my songs, I can. If you don't, you just want to do the show, I can play. I can just play in the band. Let's like, I don't mind. Let's go. Let's play the air drum. All right, we can wear the song. I need a song. Yeah, a song. Right, let me Give get me out. a song. You want a Bruno Mars song? It could be a Bruno. Come on, let's do Bruno. Oh, this the one. <laughs> Here we go. Got the beat machine. Here we go. He gonna, be, he gonna be like, yo, no, that's not regular air drumming. He must know how to play for real. <laughs> it's too on point. Okay, Jones, everybody. So, my dude, talk to us. Uh, your single, Don't Mind, of course, was huge. Yes. And then, you know, it's not that you were forgotten, but I, I've been waiting for like new Kent Jones music because that song was everywhere. You couldn't walk into a bar, to a restaurant, anywhere without seeing that. And see, that's what I love. I love the fact that you said something that key, like you were waiting yeah. on, the, on the new record. It's here. Despite the fact I dropped like a couple records after that, but. I know what you mean. <laughs> right. And merengue well, is definitely to, it. You got that one. And then I was yeah. watching the video to Merengue and that dance move. Do you know how to dance or did you have to learn how to do that dance for the I, video? I knew how to dance and move. Yeah. I never explored that side of me until I had to then. <laughs> and then I, after the video is when I learned yeah. from Merengue the proper steps. And I'm going to continue my uh, study because it's a whole culture. How long did it take to learn? Because I'm the worst dancer ever. Like the actual mer- yeah, Merengue the, the steps? The moves, yeah. What I did like two days of choreography. That's it. Yeah. Break it over real quick. How's that look? Oh man. Right. You got it. It's the, it's the what you call it, Ella? The two figure step. Eight. Yeah. No, the figure eight with your hips. Figure so eight with your hips. It's just a figure eight with your hips. So, there we go. See your look. Okay now. All right. Just straight hips. Straight hips. Straight hip action. Yeah. There you go. Keep the feet still. There you go. Side to side. You want to do it like you hula hoop? You got to go like. Yeah. All right. Oh, now. Right, put your arms, move your arms in a circle. Okay. Steady, right. steady. Imagine you stroking. You don't want to mess up the stroke. Cause then she gonna call that. She gonna call the other guy you worried about. There you go, boom, yeah. boom. Oh, there you go. Oh, you gotta come out. You almost had it. So I do this thing. Come, come on, man. You battling. You battling yeah. your arm and your leg. Forward. She right. just step forward. All right, no arms for now. All right, there we go. So what the leg? What you do? See when I'm just moving side to side. Yeah. Don't try to do too much with your legs. All right. It's your hips. hips. Hips, all hips. hips. All right. hips. Oh, there you go. They got the hips going. Even if you got to drop it a little bit. All right. Okay, now you worry about side to side. All right. You got to do the step now. You got your hips. There we go. Now, step. Try step. Oh, step oh, right. oh. You got to step oh. forward. Though. Step. Oh, but he got to get the step in place so he can step forward. That's I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. We'll be here all day trying to figure this one step out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, Joe's my dude. Talk no, of to us course. Sir. Talk to us about you. You're from Miami originally? Yes. Well, I'm from I'm from Tallahassee. Yeah. And then first and second grade, Memphis, Tennessee, third grade, Fort Lauderdale, fourth grade, Memphis, Tennessee, fifth and sixth grade, seven through twelfth in Broward County, and then I learned the game. I remember in Miami. all that. I mean, I lived it. <laughs> <laughs> Touched up the drums, piano and all that. Yes. And air drums. And air drums. Bruno Mars, let's get this. Bruno going Mars. Right, you know we gotta saying? do it, Bruno. I'll I'll play for your your show your show, man. You know. 
And if you want me to come out and perform, you know, I come from behind the drums and then go back. <laughs> a lot of new artists in San Diego always ask, how do I get found? How do I do this? And I know at some point you got found. Somebody was like, you know, we're going to give Kent Jones an opportunity to, right. to get to the next level. Okay. Advice for those artists that were Kent Jones, you know, two, three, four, five years ago. Um, main thing is always utilize the things that God puts in front of you. Okay. And, and once you do that, your 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 path will be um, lightened to where you you just follow the steps, and when you think you're ready, start all over again and do it again. And before you know it, you've snowballed yourself into your own hustle. Yeah, you know that's the difference between uh, renting rental cars from a guy and just being a customer. Yeah, and actually, hey. Let me let me see how much I can learn from this guy, and then having your own business and right. then getting your own. That's what it's about at the end of the day, and that's what I love. When Don't Mind came out, um, a lot of people when, when Don't Mind first came out, people knew the song, and then they later learned my affiliation, how how hard I'm affiliated with Khaled. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Which is what I love, and which is what everybody Khaled everybody wanted. You know, how, how did DJ Khaled find you? How did that come about? Oh, uh, he he. I met Khaled through Cool and Dre. Okay. Who I was I was signed with Cool and Dre for like four years. Yeah. Four or five years, and um, they not, they they made that connection, um, amongst a couple other things that was supposed to go down, but which didn't quite pan out that way. Um, that was left field. I didn't expect it, but you know it's been great. It's been real. It's been real good. And is he gonna get you on a record? I mean, Khaled, I feel like you got like six, eight, ten guys in every record that he puts out. When are we gonna get Ken Jones on? A- Ken Jones got a record with about three, f- three or four people on it. Oh yeah, this is Ken Jones record. It's incredible. It's coming. Okay, it's me, Yo Gotti, Ty Dolla Sign, K Camp. All right, that's what's up. That's gonna be on the new album. Uh, it's gonna be on the new album, and it's one of the songs that that may be coming out soon, very soon. Got you. Yeah. When, when's the new album coming out? New album June. June. Yes, sir. What's it like prepping for that new album? Is it just doing these radio tours, going around, like just yeah, getting out there? Yeah, and then creatively, like it's just fun. Yeah, like, I get to you know zone out into my own you know box, uh, which is very big. It's probably like the size of this building. Okay. Three of them. <laughs> so it's not a small box. You know, but it's it's a it's a it's it's fun. It's a lot what, of fun. What are we expecting out of this album? Of course, Meringue is the first single, the lead single, which is out. Yeah, now. and like I said, we got the new we, the the new record with Yo Gotti and yeah. K Camp and Ty. We have another record um, <clears throat> that um, me and Epic are working on right now with um, <laughs> with my girl SZA okay. and Big Sean. Um, yeah, it's gonna be that's that's no joking matter. It's a serious record. Like yeah. I, I put it together myself. Both of these records I put together for myself. So you my, myself as well? for of course. Okay. For the record I produced Don't Mind. I did um Meringue, shout out to Dark uh, uh Rodney Jerkins. Yeah. He's one of the producers on there, like legend. Like I was super like honored when I, I in fact I want another one from him, you know. Yeah. Um and then my manager is also a producer. Got it. Uh, Illa, the producer. No, but he's not a regular producer, though. He just did Eminem's album. Oh, that's all? Yeah, just he, album. he just did Lil Pump's album. Oh, he just did Lil album. Yeah, no, psh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, you know, no games. Right. No. And he's got a couple of my new singles. And uh, we produced a record with Take Off from Migos on it. Yeah. And Faruko. That's coming, too. Damn. So you're working right now. Oh, man. You're never, working right now. How never. do you get, you know, I've always wanted to ask, these artists, you know, you're saying you putting these records together. You got Big Sean, you got Yo Gotti. Do you guys get in a studio together? Do you do? A lot know? of times we're so busy out on the road, we just end up sending the records back and forth. Yeah. Um, I think I've been in the studio with an artist for a record that I put out once. Uh, and fa- matter of fact, we recorded, me and Ty, we did his verse at his house. He recorded it um, for my song, Sit Down. Okay. Um, but that was, that's pretty much, yeah. Center. That's pretty Yeah, because I, I create records and I just okay, I, I hear this. Okay, you send it. See? <laughs> so what's up what's up for for Kent Jones? Album's gonna drop. You going on tour, you planning on getting out there doing shows? <sighs> yeah, of course. Yeah. And this time, you know, I feel like it's gonna be bigger, even bigger, you know. And we're 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 making it our uh responsibility to see to it that it is. And we appreciate y'all for seeing to it that Hell it yeah. is. And, and uh, your last tour, you got to be, be opening up for was it Beyonce? With uh, we did Beyonce Formation, yep, with Khaled. It was dope. So what was that like being open open up for Beyonce with all the the Beehive out there? When you yeah, out? that's the first thing I was gonna tell you. Yeah, that's a hell of a hive. I'm talking about. <laughs> we had we had uh, was it was it MetLife in New York? 
Man, listen, man. Yeah. I have never seen that many people in one place. Like, the closest thing to that is Coachella. Yeah. Coachella was like stupid. A sea of people, like it was sickening. But the the formation was it was layer upon layer of stadium, like, and they all look like ants. Like it's just like I. I you see I'm choking. I yeah, got yeah, yeah. I didn't know what to say or what to do, but for some reason like I enjoyed those big stages a lot more. What's it like when you, you get on that big stage, you got all those people out there it's and, amazing. You, and you do a song I don't mind and they all know the lyrics. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that, that, was, that, was, the, that, for you, that was, was the trippy producer, part. Yeah, that is, and, <laughs> <laughs> it, it comes from the moment when I was in the studio just yeah. coming up with a song to like, okay, summer jam and it's like a, a ocean of people ah, singing the song word for word. It's crazy. Pretty dope. Any crazy stuff happened on tour with Beyonce? Did you get to kick it with her? Uh no, nah, that for for that one in particular, um, we ended up. I I did I did get to meet Jigga. Yeah, I didn't get to see Beyonce because uh, we were doing a lot of shows at right. that time because that was when Don't Mind was. Yep, which popping. formation was a lot of the main like the reason why it was. Yeah, it was able to take off the way it did. In addition to um, it going viral on the internet. So when you talk to Jacob, what do you have to say? I it wasn't it wasn't much. It was he was talking to Khaled and I and I, I think I was with Khaled. You just snuck right so, in. So yeah, I mean I didn't sneak. I was walking with Khaled and he I guess Khaled met him backstage. Yeah. And you know, shout out to Jigga for for seeing to it, uh, for having me being the only new artist on that stage. That was incredible. I appreciate that. As an artist, I mean, obviously, you know, I see Jay Z. You know, it's gonna be like, oh damn. As an artist, you still get that same thing, like certain oh. people. Yeah. So it's only certain people. Like Eminem is one of those people, and the fact that I was able to be on the album yeah. even just a little bit, like, <laughs> whoa, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then um, uh, we got Quincy Jones. Yeah. I tell I tell people all the time, Quincy Jones would walk in this building like I melt. Like, yeah, I'd probably be like, <laughs> you see this right here? This is what be left of me right. That's here. you right there. I found it. A little piece of dust. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um. I still get starstruck uh, when I see Kiana of Epic Records. Yeah, man, she's she, she's a star. She's a superstar. Yeah, I get starstruck when I see Ill the producer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be like, Yo, bro, send me some vibes. All right, Kid Jones hanging. I, I think call five and thirty. I'm gonna give you five questions. You answer them as truthfully as possible in under thirty seconds. You ready to participate? I'm ready. Timer starts now. Uh, what's your favorite junk food? Um. 30 seconds, homie. Let's go. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> Hot Cheetos. Chester's, uh, though. Question yeah. number two. What's the uh, first thing you notice on a female? Her feet. Her toes. Her toes. I always got to see the feet. I'm a foot guy. Pizza, tacos, or burgers? <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hard or soft tacos? Hard or soft tacos. Either one. Whatever you want. <laughs> Let me avoid that question and say pizza. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> do you believe in aliens? I do. Why is that? I think I'm one. Okay, perfect. Yep. Then what do what do <laughs> what do aliens do? Um, they have sex using their brain. In their brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Telekinesis. Speaking of sex, fifth, sexes. Fifth, and, fifth and final question: If you were a porn star, what would your porn name be? I am a porn star, and my name is Malcolm Sex. <laughs> Fight the power. <laughs> Ken Jones, everybody. I'm coming out in June. In Sing June. Merengue right now. That's Down right. I get it. Follow me as I follow the Lord at Instagram.com at Ken Jones Official, Twitter.com at Ken Jones WTB, Facebook.com slash Ken Jones, and Pornhub.com slash Malcolm Six. <laughs>